everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here with Beautiful Beauty. Gonna be doing a product review here. Uh, this is on a Burt's Bee, Burt's Bee product. You guys know I love Burt's Bees products. I've been buying them forever. Uh, I first started buying the Burt's Bees products when I was about eight or nine years old. Um, and I started buying them at Ulta. So I just, that's just like a really cool childhood little memory there, you know. Uh, but I was super excited at eight, nine years old. It sounded so cool to me for whatever reason. So I've kind of been addicted to the Burt's Bees products ever since the trip to Ulta at the age of eight years old, roughly. Um, okay, so, and I have tried most everything they've really released or make you know what i mean like i love to try when they have products and i see them come out i like go really yeah i get excited but um this has been around a long time it seems like it has anyways i've been using off and on repeated buying this for about three four years maybe something like that this is the burt's bees renewal refining cleanser and this is what the tube looks like Okay, so it's the uh, Renew Refining Cleanser. Okay, it says with hibiscus and apple rejuvenating complex, removes dirt, oil, and makeup, uh, gently and naturally exfoliates, improves skin texture. This is a six fluid ounce squeezy type of tube with the flip top lid on it. Uh, I will say this, I don't think it does a a uh, 100% good job of makeup removal, okay? It's, okay, don't rely on this to remove your makeup, you guys, don't. Uh, use makeup remover, uh, use a makeup removing uh, cloth, a wipey, something like that. Eye makeup remover, use olive oil, coconut oil, whatever that you, you know, choose to remove your makeup with. Remove your makeup first because I would not rely on this to remove makeup. If you do, it's gonna leave so much trace amounts left behind, it's not even gonna be funny you know what I mean <laughs> it's not even gonna be funny uh, okay so uh, anyhow after you remove your makeup obviously now it's really good as a facial wash I will say it is very uh, granulated so it's more like uh, kind of like an exfoliant okay it's more like an exfoliator I have dry sensitive skin and I don't feel that I can use this every day of the week because I feel if I do it might possibly over exfoliate my skin uh, and lead to dryness so I use it two or three times a week I don't use this every single day but to me it's just so invigorating it's so nice to use it two to three times a week it's a gentle exfoliant but it's still like an exfoliant it's still you know a little gritty a little grainy uh, but it works really well especially for uh, exfoliating your lips I love to do that it's kind of like um, I don't have to grab for the lip exfoliator you know what I mean I could just use this as a one one step and you know cleanse my face circular motions massage my lips exfoliate my lips you know boom I'm done uh, I will say this I think it has a strong fragrance I've definitely talked about these Burt's Bee products the renewal line of the Burt's Bee products before I feel they are very uh, floral flower oriented fragranced like flowery you know what I mean um, not gonna lie I'm not a 100% in love with the smell it smells okay a little bit strong for me i have crazy bad sinus problems I have a scent sensitivity issue the smell is a little strong but you know it it okay you know it is what it is you know what i mean um okay and i also would like to throw this out here i really wish the burt's bee products were truly uh truly cruelty free i wish they were okay but you know they're owned by a larger apparent company big larger company that does uh participate in laboratory animal testing while they claim the burt's bee line is still virtually uh cruelty free uh you know but the thing is uh you know, I've been using their products since, like I said, I was eight years old. It's very difficult for a leopard to change its spots into stripes or, you know what I mean, a zebra to change its stripes or whatever, you know what I mean? So it is difficult for that. But I, I do not like the fact that they are owned by a, you know, laboratory animal testing company. But it is what it is. The world's not perfect. I certainly wish it was. But anyhow, going to do a quick swatchy-watchy like on the back of my hand and show you guys the texture of it. Um, I know, you know, I mean, really, that's probably not showing you a lot, but, you know, it is what it is. You're not even going to be able to see how gritty it is. You know, there's some fine grits and granules in there, you know what I mean? 
It is a very gentle exfoliant. Um, like I said, for me, I have slightly dry skin and, uh, you know, I have definitely have sensitive skin. So for me, two or three times a week, is it's a, it's a winner with this product. Uh, yeah, other than that, let me just uh, flip it over on the back of the tube, just show you guys ingredients real quick. Going to let you guys go. I definitely love it. The smell is not my fave, but I do love this product. Okay. I want to show you the ingredients. Oh, man. Okay, everything's so tiny. I know. Maybe you could see. Hopefully, but... Okay, yeah. I'll f hopefully, you can catch a little bit of it. Um, I like to buy my Burt's Bee products online. Typically, I like to buy them from Swanson's Vitamins.com, Vitacost.com, places like that, basically, because the pricing, you know, is the best. Okay? Uh, yeah, that's about it. I do love it, and uh, I just wish the floral fragrance was a little bit more toned down, but it is what it is. I still love it. I love you guys. I thank you for watching. Take care. Bye, beautiful.